Going on the bus now, yeah? Do this. Yeah? As long as you can get top jet. Sorry? I think this, this one, yeah? Yeah, as long as you've got top deck space. You have to go to the back, but this one's a bit closed off, should we wait for the next one? See? Birds of the river. You're not going to get it on this bus, mate. <laughs> now, you, we'll have a laugh, we'll have a laugh. Where, where are you guys from? India. Every time India's going to... I need lab jam on, I need some jalebi. Can you please get me some sweets? Hey. Indian sweets are amazing. Excited about your first yeah. time? Yes, I am. I am. It looks like I've got a good tour guide. So, have you had any uh, Indian sweets? It's so good. One on the next slide, lifetime on the list. They're amazing. They make you laugh, not like Capri or Hershey's. Uh, where are you guys from? Australasia, you know. Texas. Where? Oh, Peru. Where did the, why did the Mexican hold a knife up to his wife? Tequila. <laughs> you know Primrose is going to be laughing at all these jokes. I am, I'm going to laugh. I love it. I am so lame. I love it. You laugh at the I love it. I do. Abby, do you think he's funny? Can you sit back, honey, or you're gonna hit your face and see? Oh my god, you've got a Brit on board! Don't get them on board! Yeah, I'm doing it, Brit! England! Yay! England the house! India! Well done! I love India! Our Argentina! Don't cry for me! Russia! 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 High five. High five, mate. UK in the house. UK in the house. And you've got good looking parents. Ah, so thank you. High five. Mother, give me a high five. I've got a tour to do. Right, come in. 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 It's good to know we've got a good one. We've got a good one. We've got a lively one. The council is always the best one. That's very lucky, kids. And you did? So, guys, quick story. Queen Park was going to be St. James's Park. Now, quick story. Catherine Braganza was the Portuguese wife of uh, Charles II. Because Charles I had his head cut off on the horse of the park. Are you following me? No. So, she's walking in the park with him and she goes, Darling, I wish you to uh, pick a flower and give it to the most beautiful girl in the world. And so, he picked it and gave it to a passing maid. Yeah, you don't do that to a wife. So 300 odd years later, she had the park dug up, no official flower beds in Green Park, yet yeah, a woman scorned. Wow. Moral of the story, deal with it. You married her. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Humour her. So guys, over on the right, we have the Hard Rock Cafe. Now, some of you may know it as a rap shop. Um, those are rock memorabilia. Um, Eric Clapton's guitar goes That's in great. there, goes on tour around the world, first class. It's not even got a heartbeat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, how the other half track. <laughs> it is pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, two Americans came over and Asian attempts made on Queen Bee. I don't know if they saw that. It was half the album, guys. She was a for like 30 years. Uh, straight ahead, guys, is the Duke of Wellington Place, better known to the locals as Hyde Park Corner. Um, it's quite cool, right? I get the Americans going to me. Oh my god, where are you from? I'm like, I'll straight down. Oh, with our horses. Which you can see. So, Hyde Park Corner. Over to the far left, guys, that wall is Buckingham Palace. Now, when the story about Buckingham Palace, you walk through the place of the wall, you can't go through the wall. You can see, like, it's like Narnia. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. Um, Wellington Arch, Quadriga up there. It's a bit like the Marble Arch, but that's a bit bigger. So, quick story about Buckingham Palace. A Michael Michael Fagan broke into the palace in the 80s, as some of you would know. And 775 bedrooms is Buckingham Palace. He managed to scale the wall drunk, find the Queen's bedroom drunk, sit on her bed and offer her a revolver. Wow. I know, right? So, she's banging the alarm. 
didn't work. I know, you can't fix it up. Honestly, they talk like that in, in Windsor. They go, hey, what was that, tea and two sugars? <laughs> now, you can't understand a word they're saying and it's a tenner. It's a tenner. Hello, how you doing? Welcome to what used to be London. Just kidding. How you doing? Awesome. Where are you from? Texas. Florida. Every time I sit here, Florida, I just want to do this. How you doing? Are you from Florida as well? Where are you from? Michigan. Look, the same place as Madonna. <laughs> okay. She thinks she's English, didn't she? Have you seen Madonna in it? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hands up. Help me. Oh, right. I'm impressed about four of you know who Oliver Cromwell is. I didn't know who Oliver Cromwell is. Now, I had a 20-year-old American boy, yeah, knew who Oliver Cromwell was. I mean, I sat there and he told me in my ear, I was like, tell me. I was like, yeah, I was like, the third, the third ear, it was brilliant. Like, you could ask the 45 grand who Oliver Cromwell should have had a school to don't blame her, blame the government. They dumbed us down since the war. We've got five generations of Greeks don't know who the hell they are. So you need to ask the Americans to probe me on my tour so they can help me. Plus that is the Tower of London. Oh, yeah, thank you. No, I'm serious. I did a crash course in London history. I can't believe what I learned. Honestly, our Prime Minister is not Tony Blair. So guys, this, if you can imagine this whole area was full of women waiting to see yeah, yeah, and uh, he was, uh, we're going to go past where he's buried. Anyway, Oliver Cromwell was our Lord Protector, yeah, and he was basically king without the title. And he had uh, King Charles I's head cut off the Whitehall and uh, he took power. Now, he was our Lord Protector, but you know what he was protecting us from? Let me know. Because he banned Christmas, he banned dancing, he banned singing, he banned laughing, he banned. Yeah, barrel of laughs he was. And he's up there with a hundred greatest Britons. Yeah, that's a step up a lip. So, uh, the lynch tree guys was over here in the road. If we passed it, but it's where road further down the left. Now, I'm the king of controversy. I am the worst thing since Elvis Presley. At least that's what Emin Eminem said, I'm quoting it. As I ran down Edgeware Road, I got prepared to run down Edgeware Road dressed as a pork chop. So I did. We've been Westwood High Hills and I swear, it's not hello, it's not hello, it's not hello. And do you know what, they all ignored me. I was so offended. I was laughing the whole way down. It's not hello, it's not. It's down there. No hate intended, I just was detention seeking. I do that kind of thing. So, guys, the lynch tree was here. 24 people at a time got hung out. Now, the reason I asked about Oliver Cromwell was because, you know, if I see. I saw him, I jabbed him in his stomach. They killed him and then they hung his body here so everyone can see, so they can just go past it here. And that's what they did. So uh, Oliver Cromwell was hung here.